I'm Romeo with the Arizona Crawfish Company and we're going to line out the traps that we find available in Arizona and go through the pros and cons of each one and kind of help you identify which traps are best for you if you're like us and you're catching to eat. Sure you can take some out, you can catch five or six here, or seven right there. If you're just trying to kill time while you're waiting for your bobber to go underneath on the shoreline. But if you're like us and you want to eat, you need lots of crawfish. So when we start with these fireball ones that are very sturdily made, this one and this one both are made by fireball, good wire frame, vinyl coated, but they're just not a whole lot of room in there. Very simple concept, the crawfish go up the ramp and they fall in, a very, very easy clean way to empty them. A little pen secures it on a spring, you open it, you empty it, but how many crawfish are you really going to get in there? Not enough for a boil, and we're trying to boil some crawfish. So. Good for entertainment, good if you're bringing kids out, not good if you're trying to make a boil. Same with this one. When you, they, they stack nice and they store nice, but by the time you break it out and you put it together, it's really not a whole lot of room for traffic crawfish. Now they do sell an extender, which doubles the length of this, but then you've got another third piece you've got to carry around. So you've got to secure this to one side and then the other side, and it can be pretty clumsy. And honestly, as big as they're cut, we don't seem to retain a lot of crawfish with those. So again, decent and will catch, but you're not going to fill up. Next, we're going to get into a couple collapsible ones. The bigger the crawfish trap, obviously, the more crawfish you can hold. But also, what's important is how many crawfish traps you can carry. That's why we like these expandable ones. You could carry 20 of these by yourself and a couple buckets. And when you get to your site, you're going to set it. Release the pens, they expand, and you're good to go. A couple things to note for, you've got your open and exit point for emptying your crawfish, and then you've got your bait. What we really like about these bait pouches is when you set it in the water, it just seems to catch better with the bait on top. You could set one of these, two of these side by side, one with the bait up and one with the bait down, and every time, the one with the bait down will not have as much crawfish. We don't know the science behind it. We kind of suspect something about the scent gets out a little bit better as the water flows. But whatever it is, if the bait's up, it'll catch more. So these we really like just because of how many you can carry, and we've had very good success. We'll go to this next pillow trap. They call it a pillow because when you expand it, it looks just like a pillow. Pretty light just chicken wire, vinyl coated, and you expand it out. The one end, it's got two different entry points for the crawfish, and you'll have to get in there and make it big enough so they can crawl in there, but you don't want it so big that they can find their way out. The other side, it just has one entry point, and then you've got your big opening for emptying the crawfish and also putting bait in. So you load your bait in there, you'll fold it over, you'll drop it in, and then it'll just sit there all night. Now, we've tried, we've talked about suspending bait. A lot of times, if we've got the time, we will tie bait hanging so it's right in the middle, and that does seem to include it. Now, these are pretty light again. It just takes a whole lot more time to expand and collapse these. And just a couple little clips. So it increases your trapping time and your transportation time. This one, a lot of y'all have heard of Trapper Arnie. These are his latest. They were pretty effective. Same concept. You know, it's a, obviously a lot bigger than these fireballs, so it'll catch a lot more. It comes with a bait case and also a hook inside. It's hard to see, but he's got a clip if you're trying to hook on a chicken leg or something. And then this little bungee cord secures the trap, open and empty your crawfish out of there, and three points on the end. Something if uh, maybe you're a little colorblind or hard to see in, the bright yellow makes it very easy to relocate those traps again. But remember, if you can see it, so can everyone else. So the more discreet you can get it, the better we like it. Here's our favorite trap. It's made by Promar, just like this other pink one, but it's circular. It doesn't really add any advantage, but it's a whole lot bigger by about twice as big. Same thing, just like the Promar. You've got your open point for emptying your crawfish, and you've got your bait point on top and an entry side on either one. You want to talk about being able to walk, 
carry a lot of these a long ways and produce a lot of crawfish, this is your ticket. Happy crawfishing.